Welcome to Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy. At Marvel Studios San Diego Comic-Con panel revealed a lot. We got our first trailer for Wakanda Forever and the introduction of Namor the Submariner. A new trailer for She-Hulk featuring fellow lawyer slash crime fighter Daredevil sporting what looks like his classic yellow and red costume. And the full slate for Phase 5 of the MCU featuring new shows and movies such as Captain America New World Order, Daredevil Born Again, and the long-anticipated Thunderbolts. <laughs> And as if that wasn't enough, we got the announcement of not one, but two new Avengers films releasing a mere six months apart in Phase 6. Yeah, in this video, we're going to break down every show and movie that was announced at the Hall H panel for Phase 5 and 6 of the MCU, which we now know as the Multiverse Saga. We have experience of the multiverse. Most recently, there was an incident with Spider-Man. And... <laughs> what, man? First up, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania coming February 17th, 2023. This is the third installment of the Ant-Man series, and it will be the theatrical debut of Kang the Conqueror. Footage from the film showed Scott Lang and Kang having a conversation. Scott tells Kang that he's an Avenger, to which Kang responds, You're an Avenger? Have I killed you before? Somebody peed my pants. And we also got a look at MODOK. Hawkeye gets me? Bill Murray seems to be playing someone that Janet Van Dyne met during her many years in the quantum realm. I mean, Boy, everything... who's Bill Murray? Hey, I've never hit a kid before. We think Ant-Man Quantumania will be giving us a deeper understanding of how the quantum realm works, along with its connection to the multiverse. Remember, we had a very small glimpse at a city inside the quantum realm here, which looks a lot like Chronopolis, the city that Kang rules in the comics. The trailer also featured different kinds of aliens who probably live inside the quantum realm. Yeah, where they live. And in this deleted scene from Ant-Man and the Wasp, Janet Van Dyne even talks about people and civilizations in this realm. Worlds upon worlds, entire civilizations, far more than we ever theorized. Next up, Secret Invasion, coming to Disney Plus Spring 2023. Now, not much was revealed about the show, but we did get some footage of Sam Jackson's Nick Fury, along with confirmation that Don Cheadle will be appearing as War Machine. Boom, you looking for this? It's also been confirmed that part of the series takes place during the blip, and that during those five years is when the Secret Invasion took place, likely meaning the scrolls are imitating people who were blipped away. The aftermath of the blip caused a lot of chaos, like we saw in the post credit scene of Infinity War, perfect time for an alien race to invade. So when those people blipped back after Hulk Snap, there would now be two versions of them walking around. Remember, just because the scrolls we've met so far have all been nice doesn't mean that they're all good. In the comics, they are famously villains who first encountered the Fantastic Four and launched their own secret invasion during the 2000s. Next up, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 coming to theaters May 25th, 2023. Oh! And we get our first look at Will Poulter as Adam Warlock, a character fans have been clamoring for for years after he was teased in the post credit scene of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I think I shall call him... Adam. Now, fans hoped that he would be in Avengers Infinity War, considering how big of a role he played in the Infinity War comic. But you guys are getting paid? We also got confirmation that Chuck Woody Iwuji would be appearing as the High Evolutionary. Now, the High Evolutionary is a man by the name of Herbert Wyndham. He's obsessed with evolution and has made it his life's mission to advance life perfection. And we recently did a video theorizing that the High Evolutionary would be appearing in Guardians 3, and that it would be revealed that he played a major role in the creation of Rocket Raccoon. He thinks I'm some stupid thing! He does! Why well, didn't ask to get made? And footage shown at the panel featured a shot of baby Rocket Raccoon with a large hand reaching for him, likely the hand of the High Evolutionary. Guardians 3 will give us the long-awaited origin story of Rocket Raccoon that they teased in Volumes 1 and 2. And by the way, I have to promise we had no idea this was the actual plot. Everything we posted was just a theory video, and we happened to hit this one right on the head. Next, we have the series Echo coming in summer 2023. Now, not much was revealed about the show, but Vincent D'Onofrio's Wilson Fisk is confirmed to return, meaning that he survived his two gunshot wounds to the head at the end of Hawkeye and is likely now blind like he was in the comics after Echo shot him. And speaking of kingpin and blindness, Daredevil will also appear in the series. Now, Echo and Daredevil have a complicated relationship in the comics. Kingpin sends Echo to kill Daredevil, but once Daredevil exposes the kingpin for who he truly is, she turns on Kingpin and then she shoots him in the face. 
place. Yep. On July 28th, 2023, Carol Danvers, Monica Rambeau, and Kamala Khan will be teaming up for their film, The Marvels. Now, presumably, this movie is going to show us the aftermath of the Ms. Marvel post credit scene. We did put out a video theorizing that the bangle is, in fact, one of the nega bands, and that Carol swapped places with Kamala, and that now she's going to have to get off Earth, find Kamala, and she's going to need the help of Monica Rambeau. And in summer 2023, Loki Season 2 is going to drop on Disney+. Plus. Now, this season will be crucial to the multiverse saga, giving us a deeper understanding of the destruction of the sacred timeline, along with Kang's rise to power. November 3rd, 2023, sees Mahershala Ali taking it to the big screen as Blade. Blade is a half-human, half-vampire, which makes him the perfect vampire hunter. We actually got our first tease for Blade in the post credit scene of The Eternals. Sure you're ready for that, Mr. Whitman? And we theorize that he'll be teaming up with Dane Whitman as the Black Knight and maybe other supernatural-based heroes, like Werewolf by Night, who has a Disney Plus special coming out later this year, and Moon Knight. Mm, I like the sound of that. In the fall 2023, Ironheart hits Disney Plus. Now, we think this show will be an homage to the late, great Tony Stark. Iron Man. Similar to how Kate Bishop adored Hawkeye, we think Riri Williams is going to share that same admiration for Iron Man, and that this show may be opening the door for Tony's eventual multiversal return. Agent Romanoff, you miss me? Riri is in Wakanda Forever and is good friends with Shuri. We see her here in the Wakanda Forever trailer and that she's working alongside Shuri in the lab. Now, I think Wakanda Forever will partially serve as an origin story for Riri. In the trailer, you can see her building an armor suit similar to how Tony did in the first Iron Man. Now, in the comics, Riri comes from a poor family, but we think that she's in Wakanda as part of the science exchange program teased at the end of the first movie. You will spearhead the science and information exchange. <laughs> You're kidding. Winter 2023, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, is coming to Disney+. Plus. That's a spinoff of WandaVision that hopefully will show Agatha breaking through Wanda's spell following her death in Multiverse of Madness. Right. Spring 2024 brings us the return of the Man Without Fear in his very own series, Daredevil Born Again. And it's not going to be a measly six-episode series. Not 12 episodes, not 16 episodes, but 18 episodes. <laughs> Frank Miller's Daredevil Born Again series is one of the greatest comic story arcs ever written. Daredevil Season 3 was loosely based on this comic. So basically, this series is more about Matt Murdock. Daredevil barely appears in it. During this story, Kingpin finds out Daredevil's secret identity, bombs Matt's brownstone, gets him disbarred, and Matt Murdock has to claw his way back out from poverty to confront Wilson Fisk and get his life back. Now, while this new Daredevil series will certainly draw heavily from the comics, we think this title was also chosen as a bit of a wink and a nod to this being a soft reboot of the Daredevil Netflix series, hence Born Again. May 3rd, 2024, Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson makes his big screen debut as the new Captain America in Captain America 4, New World Order. So in the comics, the New World Order was founded by the Red Skull, and other members included villains like Juggernaut, Absorbing Man, Piecemeal, and Madman. After the events of Avengers Endgame, the Red Skull is now free from his duties of guarding the Soul Stone. So maybe he'll be making his return to Earth to achieve world domination. Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. The Captain America films have never shied away from politics. First Avenger, Winter Soldier, and Civil War all dealt with themes such as war propaganda, veteran exploitation, and the cost of war. Falcon and the Winter Soldier went even deeper with its discussion of race in America and the systemic obstacles facing African Americans every day. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. What don't I understand? Even now, here, I feel it. The stairs, the judgment. In today's political landscape, you'll often hear those on the far right, along with religious extremists, talk about the New World Order. They promote conspiracy theories regarding their fears of a one-world government that would strip them of their freedoms. Now, the MCU dipped their toe in the waters of conspiracy theory propaganda in Spider-Man No Way Home with Mysterio in the MCU version of J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> So another scenario for this movie would be that it's the Sokovia Accords on steroids, the government attempting to take full control of any and all superpowered beings. This would lead perfectly into the following MCU film, The Thunderbolts. On July 26, 2024, we're getting that long-rumored Thunderbolts movie. The Thunderbolts are a group of anti-heroes with no compunction about breaking the law. So Julia Louise Dreyfus's character, Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, has been forming a team since the post credits scene of Black Widow. There, she recruited Natasha's sister, Yelena Belova. Hi. And then again in Falcon and the Winter Soldier with John Walker. That's great. Keep your phone on. 
Will do, Val. And with Tim Roth's abomination showing up in Shang-Chi and now in She-Hulk, I think that means we'll be seeing Valentina recruiting him very soon. Moving on to Phase 6. Now, Phase 6 has 11 slots on its slate, but only three have been announced. November 8th, 2024 is when we get Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four. Now, whether or not John Krasinski will reprise his role as Reed Richards as Mr. Fantastic is currently unknown, but fingers crossed that he'll be back. <laughs> Well, a variant of him, I mean. I think the Fantastic Four are going to have a major role to play in this saga. I mean, after all, the Multiverse Saga's main antagonist is the time-traveling villain, Kang the Conqueror. I think this means that Nathaniel Richards, aka Kang, will soon come toe-to-toe -to -toe with his ancestor, Reed Richards. Destroying one or both entirely. And last, but certainly not least, Avengers 5 and 6. May 2nd, 2025, we get Avengers the Kang Dynasty. In the comic, a 30th century warlord, Kang the Conqueror, travels to the 21st century dead set on conquering the planet. While the MCU certainly takes its liberties with adapting comic material to the big screen, I think it's safe to assume that that's going to be the gist of what will happen in the film. The Avengers, the Fantastic Four, the Thunderbolts, and maybe even the X-Men, all coming together to save the world. That'd be predictable. But buddy, that's not where the fun's going to end, because just six months later we'll get to see what I believe is going to be the absolute biggest comic book film ever made, Secret Wars. Nothing is off the table. I'm talking about a multiversal war featuring the return of Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, Chris Evans' Captain America, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, and even Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, and Andrew and Toby's Spider-Man. All the teams, all the heroes, every main character from every show and movie, all coming together for the most climactic battle of all time. We've actually got a video coming out very soon about Avengers 5 and 6 where we go into this in-depth in theories. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss it. So what did you think of the huge Phase 5 and 6 announcements? Which projects are you most looking forward to? Is there anything that they didn't announce that you wish they had? Or that you think that they're about to at D23? Let us know in the comments below, or you can at me on Twitter. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe and smash that bell for alerts. For Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy.